Hi, this is a simple video for uh, you guys helping me with uh, with this project of um, of the probates. Um, so I basically I've created a database for you. So this is an example for one of you, and uh, the other one is exactly the same. Uh, you will receive an email in your uh, the email address you're gonna give me to get access, and uh, when you click on the link, basically <coughs> you will arrive at a screen that looks uh, like something like this. And basically what you need to do, you, you need to click on this view here and you will have basically all the records with the surname, name and date. These are the, uh, this is basically what you need to put in into the database at the probate registry. This is how you access, uh, you check whether something is available there. Okay, so if you put in a surname, name and the death date and you find the match, then in that case you click on edit and then basically the information you need to you need to enter are just these fields here okay so it's a PR uh, one address so the public representative address in this case is a corporation so you will skip this record okay but if it was a person then uh, you would put in here the address and if there is a second public representative you put the name here and the address then the probate number, as explained in the other video, and the state value, which is the net value, uh, does not exceed. Uh, that is what it says. And that's it. Then you click on uh, update, and uh, and that's it, pretty much. And uh, and then you go on to the other one. So it's very very simple. And um, and I think uh, if you, for simplicity, if you want to have more records. So there are about 650 records uh, into the database for each of you and uh, you just need to do 100 uh, and then uh, if we decide to carry on uh, and we're both happy, you know, you, you will do another 100. Y you may need to go to 300 or 400 in order to be able to do 100, okay, because not uh, all records will have a match. Okay, so that's it pretty much. Uh, it, was just a <coughs> it was just a simple video to explain exactly uh, it was just one minor things so the the record display this way surname name and de death date but when you actually edit the record not that it matters but the death uh, date is gonna be below here okay so it's not uh, just a different way to display but what you're interested in are these fields here okay so that's it pretty much and if you have to uh, you know, if you cannot access uh, online and you need to do it uh, in Excel, it will look like uh, well, it will be an Excel file. No, so you, you you know what it looks like. It's a bit better than this, but it's just um, so. I hope uh, it's all clear, and uh, that's it pretty much. Thanks a lot for watching, and uh, any question, email me or ask.